Here's another part of our conversation with Joseph Williams of Toto. This is the second time we've chatted. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Speaking of that, how did you get your, you, you got your, I remember at the end of the, the, the seventh one thing and you, you'd lost your voice and, and uh, which to me was, I mean, you know, I, I was again, such a big fan, but you come full circle here. And all of a sudden, you know, I saw you guys in Vancouver. I saw you backstage, but I was in mid sentence with Steve P and I didn't get a chance to come say hi to you. Um, but like, how did you get it back? I mean, you are, freaking right on top of your game to me i mean you know back in the in the in the old days when i was in the band when i was younger i i i had no real training or vocal coaching and i also also when i was given the opportunity to go get some i didn't i didn't take it seriously and a vocal coach gives you exercises and things that you need to do constantly to keep your voice in shape and strong and these muscles strong and everything. And you need to listen to them when they tell you what to do. And back in the day in my 20s when I was in the band, I went to one of the best guys in L.A. And I, and I just didn't listen. I felt like, you know, I'm young, I'm bulletproof, I smoke cigarettes, who gives a crap? Uh, so I, and, and we all, we all worked with monitors instead of the in-ear monitors. So I was, could barely hear myself and was constantly losing my voice. When we came back to, when I was asked to come back in 2010 to go back out on the road with Toto, I knew that I could not approach it the same way. So I went and found a teacher and I worked with him very, very, very closely for a couple of years. And he gave me all of the right exercises and, and some operatic exercises and techniques to work on every day and told me to do it like I was going to the gym instead of instead of not taking it seriously and that's what I did and literally the first three years of touring 2010 2011 and 2013 by the time we got to 2014 I my voice started to really kick in to be kind of a strong like where it is now which is I have better control over it now than I ever did when I was younger yeah. But And most of what this guy did was he showed me in my younger years where I was singing things correctly. And he said, Let's, we just need to get you to be able to sing that way all the time. And so I'm going to give you a ton of exercises. You're going to do them every single day. And, and, and you're going to go out on the road and you won't even realize it. But all of a sudden things will start to connect and you'll start to open up. Wow. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, you must through that process must have thought, wow, was I ever doing... I mean, because you're right. It's like I was telling someone the other day, when you're 20, you never think about being 50. No one ever in their 20s ever, I wonder what I'll be like at 50. They don't give a shit. They don't even think about that. It's not even into your mind. But when you're young, you're invincible. Yeah, no, it's true. And if I and if I had like if I had had this teacher and the at that attitude when I was 26, 27, 28 in, in, in the band Toto, and I didn't smoke and I didn't, you know, hang out and I did what this teacher told me, I probably never would have left the band and, and my voice probably would have ended up getting stronger. But then I would have never had a career as a TV composer or had my children. So everything happens for a reason. Do, do, have you ever splurged? It's another question I'm asking everyone. You know, like it's strange when I was talking to uh, Peter Beckett, he was saying, uh, he says, you know, I splurged on sports cars. It was really interesting. He says, but you know what my favorite car is? A Dodge Ram. He says, that's, that's, that's the best thing I've ever had in my life. I said, really? I, I, I rented one once. It was great. But I said, you've had Porsches. He says, yeah. But have you ever splurged? Well, yeah. Well, to, to, to use a term that Jay Graydon used to call me, uh, I am what he used to call a spendoid. You know, which, which I, I definitely have that problem. So have I splurged many times? And, and one of the things that I've splurged on for myself has been vehicles many, many times. I'm, I'm, I'm a big, I've, I've probably owned 60 new vehicles in the course of my driving career for 50 years or whatever. Okay, what's the, what's the, what's the juiciest one? What's the. Oh God, they were, they were all so great and I would have all buy them for different reasons. But I mean, I, I had a little Mercedes two seater that was fantastic for a little while. I've owned three different Mazda uh, Miatas because I love them so much. Uh, I've, I owned a, a great Lexus uh, mid range one. It was back in the day at a different number. It was a GS 300 or something like that. Uh, I've owned trucks and, and Suburbans and, and uh, you know, two seaters and cars for the kids, and we had a, we had a minivan for a little while. Um, I, I've been one of those guys, just sort of a car freak over the years. That I've it's slowed down. 
um, right now I'm just down to just a truck and 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 the and the newest Mazda Miata. I, I still I still ha like to have a two seater to cruise around in. But I I also splurge on equipment for my studio. I've also spent a lot of money splurging on things to sort of like you know uh, to to enhance my studio. Those those are my splurging areas. Yeah.